what's up guys welcome to bro beats tv and today i'm going to be showing this new plugin i found it may not be brand new but I, th I think it's pretty old but it is free so the download link is in the description and i have a link for the template the template is going to be as messy as this is going to be a little you know it's going to be cleaner it's going to be called the easiest pie template because when i show you this uh template i mean it's not template this vst or plugin is really going to change the way you it's going to change everything for you as a producer may not too much but your midi skills will change and they will get better so um i have that and i have the the bus the mix bus is already on here so you don't have to like switch between templates and stuff and just make a whole mess but yeah i'm going to give you this so i'm going to show you the plugin real quick so it's called kales i think i'm pronouncing that right and what it's going to do is map every scale on all the white notes. So what that means is you don't have to worry about music theory anymore at all. I mean, you, it, it's good to learn it, but I mean, with this, it's kind of like, what's the point? Because no, no matter what note I press, it's going to sound good. Even if I press notes off, it's not going to play rather than me coming up here and it's playing everything so I'm gonna show you how to set it up then I'm gonna try to make a quick beat just a simple two instruments a synth bass and I already have drums down here uh, pre-made just to make the video quicker and these are from the OVO and B kit so just letting you know that so if anyone asks there you go so I'm just show you how to set it up so when you open the template it's gonna be this uh, green pink green pink like layout and I have the low VST you can load a VST you want and then I have these little dashes for to, it stands for each you know it matches so the first plugin would be the first dash second dash second on down but with what you want to do click on the plugin go to the middle the VST wrappers wrapper settings and then like this it will look like this first what you want to do is just go to the uh, output port and go to one and then all the way you see i have the dashes it just shows you you can just go to on the second one it should say two you see all the way down to how many however many you want and same thing as for the vst that you're using so i have you want to put it on the input port because you're taking what you press in here and inputting it into this and it's going to well, I took it off, but you know what I'm saying. So, you want to put this like on one right here. You keep this on one, you see? You see, it's not playing any of these notes, so I can't mess up. I mean, you can, a scale can sound bad, even if you're pressing all the notes, because some some stuff just doesn't sound good together but you know overall I'm just pressing random notes so that sound pretty good to me and you can't change the scale and stuff but forget about that you can check that out yourself so that's how you set that up so i'm going to just do a demonstration Hear the drums, just something simple. Just some old school type of pattern. All right. So what I'm gonna do, I'll put some reverb on the piano. That's why it's on five, because the piano was kind of dry. So I'm just gonna play something real quick and then record it. All right, I got interrupted, but get back to this real quick. Uh, let's see.
I'll try something simple like that. Let's move that over. All right, so I just moved it up because it doesn't really not matter what note you put stuff on because it's going to most likely sound good because, you know, it's on the note, you know, it's, it doesn't play the notes that aren't on the scale. So it's going to sound good as you can see. Well, I'm just keep it simple. I'm going to go to the piano right now. This one. All right, just some some light, just some light. All right, stretch that out. And the thing about this, you don't even have to try that hard. Like I was literally just, I didn't even know what to play next. I was just tapping stuff. So you don't even have to, you can just mess around. Let's see, uh, let's see what I want to change. Now I'm just add the synth bass and that'll be it for the beat because I don't want this video to be, you know, extraordinarily long. So I'm just put the synth bass. Um, I'll just play this. Kind of want to play it without the drums first. So here we go. Yeah, make sure you uh, actually are playing on the on the you know chaos plugin because sometimes I mess up like I just did. I was playing on this. I'm playing the same note, but you see it's changing. So make sure you're playing on this. So here we go. I could just. Stick on There we go. If you're wondering how it's on mo well, mostly on beat, that's because I have it quantized to half a beat. And you can just do that by pressing this up here. You can choose whatever you like. However, you know, how small you want your errors to be or how large you want your errors to be. 
So, but I keep it at a half beat because, you know, that's pretty normal. I don't need to have anything, you know, in between and everything. But so I'm going to listen to this and see what it sounds like. Move that over. Press that too early. All right. And I'm going to have this kind of smooth on up. So just listen to this real quick. Or not. I guess I can add one extra. Might as well use the same plugin since I'm already in this plugin is so small. I uh, don't know what I could use a guitar. That might not even sound good. Let's see. Oh, that's a terrible, terrible guitar. Oh, that's a good one. that because i don't feel like leveling i already turned it up super high and it was still low but so yeah that is how you use this plugin i just created a little simple beat for the sake of this tutorial um so it is called kales the the, the download link link is in the description there we go so click on that you get the template everything you need and i guarantee you that this will um increase your midi skills as you you know you you can't really mess up like it takes out all the errors so it's like and it's free so why you get it it's like why not even it's free get it it's a plugin and it helps you out so i got it and it's gonna it's help it's made my beats you know better so far so uh, if you're new subscribe um like comment and please share the video if this actually helped you out, which it should, if it doesn't, then you're, you're not, you know, you're not, you didn't watch the whole video, but I'll see you guys next video.